Hello everyone, we're back talking more about the improvements and new features in KimCat version 7.0. Today we're going to be looking at working with streams and how to connect them, reconnect them, route them, and reroute them. So I've got a partial flow sheet built here and I'd like to walk you through first just connecting some unit operations with streams. So in this case, I'm going to connect this feed arrow to this flash unit and then connect to the two product arrows. And I do that by simply clicking and releasing, dragging over to the point I want to connect to. Notice that the outlet or the inlet port is highlighted when it is the one that will be selected. Click again and release and that stream is built. So I can do that very quickly here for the other two streams and I've built my streams. Now what you notice there is that KimCat auto routed between these two points. It put in a bend, uh, a right angle bend in those two outlet streams. Uh, one thing that I would like to point out that is new is if I take this stream, notice I now have control over it by clicking it, I'm going to disconnect the outlet and I'm going to move it to this heat exchanger, for example. So I can simply grab it and reconnect it. So I click, hold, and drag over to the new inlet point. And if I then want to complete the flow sheet, I can simply create that last stream. And now I've got a new flow sheet uh, with the heat exchanger connected now. So much simpler now to reroute existing streams. Uh, another point that I would like to make is what if you've got a more complex flow sheet and you need to go around an object uh, with your stream routing? Well, let's start again by connecting the feed. I'll connect this lower product stream. And then finally, I'm going to connect this outlet here to that stream. But I need to go around this piece of equipment on my flow sheet. So. I can start to draw, I can click in space and create an anchor point, and it will hold that anchor point. And I can drag off, click and release to create another anchor point, and then move to my outlet. And now KimCAD will create the exact routing that I have specified. So uh, what if, uh, as you're working with your flow sheet, you actually move that uh, piece of equipment, and now you need to move the stream again. So I'm going to place this unit right on top of my stream and now I want to move that stream. Well I have several options uh, the, the easiest of which is to simply grab this uh, segment uh, piece here that small green box with the X in it and I can move that up and down and that allows me to very quickly move it out of the way but I do have a lot of control when it comes to these interior anchor points I can move that anchor point around like so. I could move this one and create extra elbows by dragging that. And then final piece of information here, if you have a situation like this and you want to collapse that to a single segment, if you grab this point, it will snap to the other segment and it will remove that interior anchor point. So the final piece of information uh, in this video that's uh, uh, related to stream drawing is what happens if two streams cross in KimCAD? Well, let me just drag this product arrow down and make myself a nice crossing situation. And let me move this so you can see what's happened here is KimCAD now will create stream crossing indicators that are user configurable. So you can have uh, triangular, arced, um, uh, disappearing, or no uh, stream crossing indications. So I hope you've learned a little bit about working with the new stream functionality in KimCAD version 7.0. And thank you for listening, and we'll see you in the next video.